Hi guys, this is DIGOROTECH. Today, I will show you simple ways on how to speed up your computer overall performance. This is applicable for Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7. Let's begin. First is delete temporary files. If your system drive or C drive is more than 90% full then your computer slows down or becomes extremely slow. Go to search. Type storage. Click on storage settings. Wait for it to scan the disk usage. Notice my C drive details. You can see it's 95% full. And I only have 5 GB free disk space. Temporary files occupied most of my disk space. Followed by apps and features. Windows 11 latest release have already this shortcut option for storage sense which you can set to automatically free up space and delete temporary files. I'll explain this option later on. And of course the cleanup recommendation since we have only 5 GB free disk space. Let's check the temporary files. Double click on it to view the details. Here, you can see the different categories and their file size. Let's check the downloads. This is the default download folder in which all the downloads has been stored. You can go to the folder to view the files. If you no longer need this files then check the downloads. Take note that if you select this option then all of the files in that folder will be permanently deleted. Next is the previous Windows installation. This was my previous Windows operating system which is the Windows 10 since I upgraded to Windows 11. We can verify by opening the system drive or C drive. This is the windows.old folder. If you don't have any plans restoring your old operating system then check the box to permanently delete it. Next is the recycle bin. You need to empty it regularly. You can check the box to empty the recycle bin. Next is the windows update cleanup and windows update log files. This are the windows update log files that has been saved and it's safe to delete. To view this files, go to your system drive or C drive. Go to Windows. Choose Software Distribution. These are the update log files that will be deleted. The rest are the internet logs and cache. You can check all the remaining box based on your preference. Now, scroll up. Before we click Remove Files, we will monitor the C drive to view the changes. Click Remove Files to proceed. A window will pop up telling you that the selected files and their data will be permanently deleted. Click continue to proceed. Wait for it to finish the process, this may takes time depends on the file size and your device specifications. Take a look at the C drive. Notice that it freed up almost 57 GB of my drive space. I have now 61 GB free disk space. Let's wait for it to finish all the process. This process is very useful when it comes to speed and performance. Let's refresh it again. You can see that we still have 1.98 GB temporary files. You can redo the process again. You can also click show more options to view other categories. Let's double check the temporary files. You can check all the boxes again then click remove files. Click continue to proceed. Second is we will enable the storage sense. This is very useful, you can set it to automatically freeze up space on your computer by deleting things like recycle bin contents, temporary internet files, and app temporary files, etc. Go to start. Type storage. Choose storage settings. Click storage sense. This are the default settings. You can modify it based on your preferences. You have the option for every day, every week and every month. The default is during low free disk space. For me, I usually choose every week. Next is the recycle bin. Since you no longer need those files then you can set it to one day. It will empty your recycle bin daily. Next is the downloads folder. You can choose based on your preference. I usually set this to default since sometimes we download some important files. Make sure to leave it turned on. Next method is prevent unnecessary programs from starting. 
A lot of unnecessary programs automatically runs every time you start your computer, they keeps on running consuming your RAM and processor usage even though they're not in use. Go to search, type startup apps. Choose startup apps. Here, you can see all the startup applications. Now, turn off all the apps you don't need on startup. This will decrease your system resources usage and it will boost or speed up your computer startup process. Next is change power settings to high performance. Your computer will focus on maximizing its speed and performance but it will consume more energy. Go to your taskbar. Right click on the battery icon. Choose power and sleep settings. Under power mode, it's currently set to balanced. Click on it then change to best performance. This will optimize your device based on power use and performance. Next is check for Windows Update. You need to check your Windows Update regularly to fix bugs and also bring new features. This also ensure your computer is secure. Go to Start. Type Windows Update. Choose Windows Update Settings. Click Check for Updates. Wait for it to check online for update. If it have new updates then it will auto-download and install. Sometimes it will require computer reboot after update. You can see my computer is up to date. Next is scan for viruses and malwares. Malware in action can consume a substantial amount of your computer's memory, leaving limited resources for other legitimate programs to use. This can lead to extremely sluggish performance of vital programs, like your internet browser or operating system. In short it will slows PC overall performance. Go to search. Type Windows Security. Choose Windows Security. Go to Virus and Threat Protection. Choose Scan Options. Check Full Scan. This could take longer because it will check all files and running programs on your hard disk. Scroll down and click Scan Now. Again, this may takes time depends on your file size and installed programs. You can see the estimated time remaining and also the files scanned. You may close the window and it will continue running on background. Next is change appearance and performance options. This will speed up your computer especially the old one or low specs computers. However you will lose all the visual effects. Go to search. Type adjust appearance. Choose adjust appearance and performance of windows. Notice that mostly visual effects are enabled. If we choose to adjust for best performance then all the visual effects will be disabled. Notice all the box have been unchecked or disabled. Click apply to save the changes. Next is disk defragmentation. Defragmenting your computer helps organize the data in your hard drive and can improve its performance tremendously, especially in terms of speed. If your computer is running slower than usual, it might be due for a defrag. Go to search. Type defragment. Choose defragment and optimize drives. Choose the system drive. You can see I'm using solid state drive. If you are using solid state drive then no need to defrag your drive. However, I will still show you how to defrag your drive in case you are using hard disk drive. Click optimize. After disk defragment, the status will change to OK. If your drive has some issue then you will receive some errors. Next is update device drivers. You should always make sure that your device drivers are properly updated. Not only will this keep your computer in good operating condition, it can save it from potentially expensive problems down the line. Neglecting device driver updates are a common cause of serious computer problems. Right click on this PC or my computer. Choose manage. Go to device manager. Make sure all this device drivers are up to date especially the display adapters. Right click on it. Update driver. Search automatically for drivers. You can see the best drivers are already installed. If you have some issues updating your device drivers, you can go directly to your computer's manufacturer official website. Search for your device model and manually download and install the drivers. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, 
Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.